All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is episode eight of my Dawncraft series. I hope you guys are all enjoying the series so far. I got a couple things that I want to cover. Um, first of all, I figured out how to record 4K footage without actually having a 4K monitor. So hopefully this footage looks a lot better than the other episodes. And if it does, then I'm going to continue filming this way. If not, then I'll go ahead and switch back to the other method I was using to film until I can get my hands on some 4K monitors. I am also playing with uh, depth of field and motion blur um, enabled, so let me know if it bothers you guys. I personally love playing with it, just in my personal mod packs and stuff, but I, I know that it can bother some people, so let me know how it looks to you guys, and if it really, really bothers you guys, then I don't mind removing depth of field and motion blur. I just thought it would look really, really cool with 4K footage, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> As always, before we get started, I want to thank you all for watching. Just in case you don't stick around until the end, I want to go ahead and thank you now. If you haven't already, then please do subscribe to my channel. It helps out the channel a lot. And uh, please also be sure to uh, like, comment, and share my content. It really, really helps out with the uh, YouTube algorithm. And like I said, it helps out the channel a lot. Uh, I am a little sick right now, so sorry if I sound a little funny again. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. So, um, I got a bunch of busy work done in between episodes, uh, because I knew that this episode was probably going to be kind of a crazy one for me. So, some of the things that I got done were, uh, I updated the mod pack to 1.20, I believe it is. Um, I don't really know for sure what's actually been changed. The only thing that I know for sure that's been changed just from, you know, doing my busy work and playing is that, uh, a lot of enemies now have the, their names above their health bars, which is super, super, uh, helpful. But other than that, I haven't noticed a ton of differences. I also went ahead and freed that villager prisoner that I completely forgot about in the last episode. And because I did that, I was actually able to complete the Lost Child quest. Because a lot of you guys were telling me that that Lost Child quest often spawns the child in those pillager keeps. But sometimes they're all grown up by the time you get to them. So when I freed him, uh, I was actually able to complete that quest. So that's really cool. I also did a bunch of tree farming. Uh, like an ungodly amount of tree farming because I'm going to need a lot of wood in this episode for what I plan to build. I do want to finish up the build from last episode at some point, but uh, I'll probably save that towards the end of the episode. And then I have a pretty big, at least pretty important, I would say, uh, build that uh, I want to get to later on. I did some terraforming around the barn area where I plan on building, and I went ahead and actually decorated the house a little bit differently than how I left it in last episode. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what that looks like now. I hope you guys enjoy the way that that uh, house looks now. I, I like the decorations. It, it took me quite a while to figure out how I wanted it to look, but I'm pretty happy with it. And the last thing I kind of want to talk about before we get started today is uh, I was, again, very fortunate enough to get uh, some more pick. Oh, God dang it. <laughs> it's a face sucker. Hold on. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh... Uh, yeah, the last thing that I want to kind of cover is that, uh, yeah, I updated the Hall of Patrons, which is super exciting, and I'm really grateful for all your guys' support. So let's go ahead and go over who uh, I added to the Hall of Patrons. So we'll start with Tier 3, as always. I finally got, I'm super excited, I finally got 10 Piece's uh, player head, so I'm really, really happy about that. So thank you, 10 Piece, for being so patient with me. As always, we have Odin's Beard, Classy America, Bunny the Nerd, Mr. Anvil Head. Veil? Why do I keep saying Anvil? Anyways, uh, new, a new patron we have is uh, Jiggy9375. Jiggy9375, he has that, that uh, I don't think it's Kermit, but that meme frog head, which I thought was really funny. And then next we have Knight. I don't know if it's Knight RE or Knight Re or Knight Re. I have no idea, but his player head looks really cool. He has like a, a black and white crown and it looks awesome. And then let's go ahead and move on to uh, Tier 2. In, uh, in Tier 2, as always, we have Dragon Defender X, Kamikaze Strategic, Jace Fan, Codfish 4. Yep, we're going with 4 on that. Uh, then we have Donut. And then, um, I don't know how to pronounce his name. I think, I'm pretty sure he said I can pronounce it kind of however I want. Legnair? Legnair? Led Legnair? I think that's how, that's probably the best I can do. Sorry if I butchered your name, but... Uh, Legendary. I, I have no idea. Uh, Azura Heretic. 
and then a new one, another one that said I can pronounce it however I want. Um, I'm gonna go with Lilo. I like I like that name, so I'm gonna go with Lilo. Lilo and Legendary. Thank you guys so much for your support. And if you would like to be in the Hall of Patrons, then please do consider supporting me on Patreon. It helps me out a lot. Like I said, and like I said, like I said that I said that I said that I'm gonna keep saying is I would love to do this content full time. Jeez, I can't speak. I would love to do this content full time. Uh, and the only realistic way that I can really achieve that is through support like the support you guys show me on Patreon. So if you like what I do and you'd like to help me continue doing it, then please do consider supporting me over there on Patreon. Thank you guys very much. As always, before we actually get started with our day and get any actual serious work done, uh, I want to go ahead and read the journal entry for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this one and I'll see you guys when we get back. Day 7. During my travels, I stumbled upon a great evil. Underneath a giant tree at the edge of an ocean rested a corrupt warrior, a fearsome fighter, the Sentinel Knight. He guarded an ancient eye, the Guardian Eye. We battled beneath the tree for what felt like hours. His sword cut through the air like a cleaver, his shield virtually impenetrable. He disarmed me. My sword fell out of reach, and so I resorted to my bow. Arrow after arrow, the Sentinel Knight fought until he could no longer withstand the bombardment. Finally, he was bested, and the eye captured. Greymoor is free from the creatures below, and it will remain that way as long as I live. I will not allow Greymoor to fall. I will rid this land of its curse, and set all life in this realm free. This is my new purpose. This is why I was called upon. Upon my return from the dungeon below, the people of Greymoor, both from the valley and from the hilltop, led me down to the center of the village in the valley. There, the guildmasters awaited my return and prepared a ceremony, the crowning of a lord. The people of Greymoor bestowed upon me the title of noblemen, their lives, their future, in my hands. I am their sword. I am their shield. I am their king. I will serve them in the ways I know how. I am no leader, but they believe in me. I cannot let it be for nothing. I will fight for them. I will protect them. I will make Greymoor safer than it's ever been. These people will know peace. Today marks the beginning of a new age, an age of war. A war for the freedom of this land and its people. An age that will give birth to a new realm. A place where children will play, birds will chirp, and all that will remain of the death and destruction will be a place to call home. We will build, with our bare hands we will build an oasis, a new city, a new home. Greyhelm. At the top of the mountain we will build a warning to all those who seek to harm this realm, that it is under the protection of Fort Dongard. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that journal entry, and that's right, you guys heard correctly. We are now the king of what I declare this area to be called Greyhelm. That name was recommended by one of you guys in the Discord, and I thought it sounded really, really cool. And it's so similar to Greymoor, I just, I just thought it was a perfect fit. Um, there was a lot of really, really good names that you guys suggested, but ultimately I thought that was my favorite one, so uh, I decided on Greyhelm. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I was working on in between, um, not in between, but during the journal entry. I worked on this little path because before it was just more of like a flat wall. This was kind of hard for me to decide what I wanted this to look like, so let me know what you guys think about this. I don't know how, how happy I am about it yet. I want it to look kind of like sloppy cobblestone stairs. Uh, and hopefully I was able to accomplish that. And then it leads up to this area over here that I went ahead and terraformed and cleared out. Just up there leads to the uh, the campfire that I, or the campsite that I uh, camped out at in episode one. So that's kind of the general layout of where we are right now. The windmill's down there. I ended up turning it off too because the spinning was just really irritating me. But we can't even use it right now anyways. So uh, there was no reason to have it on. And I went ahead and started planning out some structures that I plan on building here. I'm not going to spoil what they are just yet, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing some planning with some, <laughs> some coarse dirt. Uh, and then these trees are, I was just using these to tree farm. I need to cut these ones down. I just got too lazy. And what I have planned for this episode, the main build of this episode 
is what this kind of uh, walkway is gonna lead up to. It's unfinished because I ran out of cobblestone. I'm gonna have to do some uh, strip mining um, at some point in between recording this episode. So uh, I'll go ahead and do that as, as soon as I can, but I, I made this uh, dirt. Oh, some of it's turning into grass already. That's kind of cool. Um, I made this dirt uh, walkway, very sketchy, very dangerous walkway to lead up to where I plan on building. But yeah, so this goes up all the, all the way up all the, all the way up, all the way up, and it leads to up here, this little plateau from, uh, I think also episode one is when we kind of camped out up here. If not, uh, maybe episode two? No, I, th I think it was episode one. We went from the camp, the, uh, campsite to up here, and then ultimately decided to set up camp down there. I have, I've had plans for what I wanted to do up here since episode one, and what I plan on building today is a, is a pretty big deal, but I'm not going to spoil it just yet. You guys are going to have to stick around until the end to find out what I want to build here. But I'm really excited and it's going to, it's going to be a lot of work. <laughs> but let's go ahead and head back to camp because I want to start preparing myself for what I have planned today. Oh, one of you guys were asking me uh, where exactly the farmhouse is. It's right over there. I'm not sure if you can really tell that that's the farmhouse, but that's the farmhouse right over there. Uh, the pond is here. We're right above the mine shaft right now. And then there's our windmill. So if you just... Uh, head off the path right from where the uh, the waystone gazebo is. There's a path that leads all the way up there out to the farmhouse. Eventually, I'll probably do. Oh, there's the watchtower over there. Eventually, I'll probably do a uh, a base tour. But um, for now, I barely even have enough time to film these episodes. So uh, once I have more time on my hands, then I'll I'll do more uh, more fun videos like that. But yeah, that's kind of the general layout. The uh, farmhouse is right over there. All right, so we got a bunch of our uh, junk items that I had from uh, doing our busy work uh, put away. What I want to kind of do before we do anything else is uh, I want to try to diver diversify, like truly diversify my diet more by using more of the Farmer's Delight mod uh, food. So I'm going to look into that, see what I can make, and uh, we'll head over to the farmhouse so that I could actually hopefully cook some of it, some of it up. Um, but let's go ahead and check out what we can make. So let's see. Uh, at farmer's delight there's a lot of food that they have for us so one of these chicken sandwich looks pretty easy to make uh yeah so that's pretty easy to make we can probably make a bunch of these pretty soon um yeah just needs to cook chicken cabbage or cabbage leaves bread and a carrot so that's one thing that we can make uh comfort five food diversity 4.67 okay so it actually tells you i forgot uh so the food diversity of this chicken sandwich is 3.80 it seems a little bit low compared to these other ones, but these are like full meals. Uh, like this grilled salmon is like a, an entire... Oh, it's actually not hard to make either. Uh, cooked salmon. We need sweet berries, a bowl, cabbage, and onions. Okay, that's another thing that we can kind of make. Uh, let's see. Do we have the stuff to make these right now? Eventually, we'll do some fishing and some, some more food gathering, but right now, I think we're pretty much good. I don't really need the food. I just want to try and diversify my diet a little bit more. Um, because that's the whole point of this lunchbox. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're good on food. Like, we're not going to starve anytime soon, but I want to get the benefits of the Farmer's Delight mod. So we're going to go ahead and try and make some of these meals right now. Cool, so we got 17 sandwiches, 12 of the salmon, so hopefully that diversifies our diet uh, a significant amount. Um, if not, oh well, we're, we'll st we're, still, uh, we're still learning, so... Um, it could take a while to actually see a difference, but um, I want to go ahead and get started with working on that uh, as soon as possible so that we can reap the benefits of having a, a more widespread diet. Cool, that was pretty easy. Um, now let's go ahead and move on to what I had planned next. I thought I was going to need my uh, Farmer's Delight cooking station for all that, but I guess not. Yeah, okay. That seems like it was a little too easy, <laughs> but, but uh, I'm glad it worked out. So what I want to actually do next is I want to actually poke my head into the nether, properly poke my head into the nether, actually walk around and, you know, explore a little bit. If I can find a nether fortress, that'd be awesome. Um, we got our arrows. Yep, we're all set. Let's go ahead and head into the nether. Excuse me. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, oh, no. What the? Oh my god! Oh, this is bad. <laughs> oh man. This little troll guy. Oh my god! Oh! 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 
Oh my. Holy crap. All right, you know what? We don't need to go to the nether. It's not that important. <laughs> I would like to try to prepare myself to go into the nether sometime soon, though. Uh, oh, by the way, I trapped, uh, I trapped Birgitta in, uh, <laughs> oh, wow, that sounds terrible. I trapped Birgitta in our basement here because, uh, I can't have her as my companion yet, but she was walking around, and, uh, unfortunately, we lost Eliurt. Eliurt was guarding our watchtower. A vampire just came out of nowhere and destroyed him, so I don't really want them wandering around with, uh, not very good gear, so I have her for her own protection in the basement. <laughs> Because we already lost Astrid, I don't want to lose Birgitta too. Yeah, the Nether, the Nether seems like uh, it's it's pretty tough. So we'll check it out eventually, hopefully sometime soon. But right now we are just not ready for that. We'll just have to keep the Nether in mind whenever we're ready for that. But I I don't want to sacrifice a bunch of diamond gear just for the Nether, not yet, anyways. When we don't have much of it, we have a good amount of diamond armor, but we don't have a lot of. Oh yeah, there's Birgitta. <laughs> But we don't have a lot of uh, diamond weapons or or uh, stuff like that, so so we'll just kind of have to scratch exploring the Nether for this episode. But what I do want to do is check out this battle tower here, because it's been looming over Greyhelm for far too long. So I want to try and see if how far we can make it up this battle tower. I've heard they're pretty tough, so hopefully we don't have too too much trouble. Um, I think this is also the first time I've really shown you guys how much I've expanded the wall on this side. Um, I did some tree farming here as well, but yeah, I have a lot planned for this space, so um, hopefully we can get to that sometime soon. But yeah, let's go ahead and challenge this battle tower and see how far we can make it. I really want to know what's at the top, but at the same time, I don't know if I want to know what's at the top. <laughs> I kind of poked my head around when I marked this place on my map, so I know that the entrance is up against this mountain right here. So it's kind of a weird entrance. Um... I should probably bring a waystone with me. Actually, I don't know if I have any more waystones, but yeah, here's the entrance. Okay. Okay. This is, uh, terrifying. Oh, God. Oh, no, wait. That's, okay, I remember seeing that in that, like, uh, what was it? It was like that ocean, frozen ocean. I don't remember what that biome was, but, oh, crap. Okay, so we're getting shot at already. There's definitely some spawners in here. Yep. <laughs> he shot the zombie, and the zombie did not like that. Okay, it's when I move around with the bow and arrow when my depth of field kind of goes crazy. I might just turn it off, honestly, as much as I love it. Ah, wow. Okay, there's a lot spawning. Hold on. I can't talk and fight at the same time. Let's try and go up and around. I don't want to... I want to see if I can destroy these, uh, these spawners. Okay, here's one. Oh, God. There is a whole lot of them. All right, this is bad. Oh... Yeah, they are spawning like crazy in there. That's that's insane. Even if I just stood up there and picked them off with my arrows, uh, they would just keep spawning. So we need to try and prioritize those spawners so that we can at least clear out that first level. I want to figure out what that thing in the... I haven't finished the wall yet. Don't judge me. But uh, I want to figure out what that thing in the middle of the room is, but I have no idea what those things are. I don't know how to activate them. I tried messing around with the other one uh, that we found, but uh, I wasn't able to figure anything out, so... I guess we'll just have to see. All right, so we're back in. Oh, I can actually see the second floor. So that's the spawner that we broke. They are spawning like crazy. Let's try and destroy this one. Before I even start trying to fight him, I want to see where else they're coming from. Unless it was just those two. Huh, I guess so. All right, let's go ahead and kill this one. What? Oh, our helmet broke already? Ooh, that's cool. All right, ow, what the heck? What the heck is happening? Happening? What's happening? <laughs> what? What is? What's hurting me? Something's hurting me, and I don't know what it is. There's a spider up there. Okay, yeah, I don't know what this thing is, but let's search this room first. There's a lever here. There's two levers. Okay. <gasps> oh, there's a special chest. Okay, and I'm assuming those levers open up that door, unless there was a button. Uh, nope, no button. All right, so let's see. Oh, that's so cool. I'm loving these. Uh these uh, battle towers already Did that open it can't tell I don't get it <laughs> I'm so confused I don't want to just break in those levers oh <laughs> okay it's open <laughs> I was gonna say those levers got to do something block of coal <gasps> Ooh, block of iron oh, I was, can't break break blocks of iron with a shovel or an axe chisel deep slate okay there's a lot of really cool blocks uh 
land chest, got a cauldron. Uh, sure. You know what? I'll, t I'll take all of it because I want to take this chest. Is it made of stone? <gasps> Ooh, land chest shard. Okay. What is that used for? What? I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. What is it? What? Bound to the Guardian's life force. What? Eye of whatever the heck that is. Land chests. Okay, we can actually just make land chests. Uh, unlocks upon destruction of nearby spawners. Huh. That's really cool. Okay. Let's put a bunch of this stuff in our backpack. And then let's keep going. Our axe is going to break any time now. Uh, what is this? I want to know what this thing is. Yeah, I want to know what that thing is, but I, I, I have no idea. All right, let's let's start heading up and see what we can find. Barrel here is a lot of uh, a lot of blocks of coal up here. I think that one's shooting stuff at me. All right, let's find these spawners. Oh crap! All right, there's one. Let's go for this one first. Where is it? There it is, under the chair. Get it, okay. Got that one. Uh, no. There you go. Oh, it's a jockey. That's what it is. Uh, okay. Is that a regular villager? I hear some sort of uh, villager or pillager, but uh, I can't really tell the difference yet. It's like a, this is like a window to the outside. Oh, I could have made it in here if I wanted to. Okay. Well, now I know. This is a shortcut to the second floor, right? These chairs look pretty cool. <laughs> um, there's another land chest in there. Is there a way in without me having to destroy everything? I didn't really want to just break in, but I guess we'll just do it. Block of quartz. Thank you. Okay, so the loot isn't great right now. Oh, crap. Thank you. <laughs> the loot's not incredibly good. Um, fantastic right now, but uh, it's getting better. Rainy mood? Cool. Got a new music uh, disc. I don't really use those, but uh, it's cool to have them. Cool. And then we can go ahead and keep moving. So this is the second floor. We're going up to the third floor right now. What is that? A oh, campfire? Okay. Okay, that's definitely not... Ow! It's definitely not a... Oh, what the hell? Cultist. Okay. Hold on. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Need to retreat and try and heal up. Oh, crap. He's chasing us real... Oh, what the heck? Where did you come from? Oh, they're everywhere. Nope. I'm gonna die. No, 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 no. Hold up. I'll be back. Those guys are insane. Is he multiplying or... There are just a lot of them. That one looks like he's by himself. Let's go after him. They look cool. I'll give them that. They look pretty cool. Okay, I was kind of worried that there wasn't going to be a button on this side. <laughs> uh, ooh, honey block. I haven't seen that before. Oh, this room is full of obsidian. Okay. <gasps> ooh, emeralds. Yes. It's a good thing we didn't pass this room by. I almost completely walked right by it. Oh, and the land chest is in here, too. Jeez, I almost completely ruined this whole... <gasps> what is that? Efficiency 2 Iron Hoe. That's pretty cool. Um, and then what is this? Land Monolith Key. I hope you know what you're doing. Ooh. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that. Key to an Ancient Power. That's terrifying. We don't need this obsidian right now, but like I said, we'll come back for it. Oh, that's not good. Uh, open. <laughs> okay. It looks like my weapons and stuff are losing durabil dur durability. <laughs> durability a lot faster than usual. Oh, crap. There goes our shield. Oh, that's not good. Oh, man, we really should have brought another shield with us. This is not going to go very well. Oh, crap. All right. Let's prioritize. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say let's prioritize finding those spawners, but uh I'm thinking that this battle tower is actually worth taking some diamond armor with us, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh <laughs> the helmet looks a little funny on us, but I, I do like it. 
and then I, I'm gonna bring my one of my diamond swords with us. Hopefully that should help out a lot. I do need to make sure I do bring some uh, some shields though. Oh crap! Come on, guys. I can't just let these guys walk around. Quest completed. What? I didn't know I had a quest. Okay. Well, I completed a quest. Uh, I think that's the fastest we've ever killed villagers. Um, this diamond sword is insane. <laughs> so hopefully this helps out a lot. I'm also kind of worried that the key that we got probably does something with this. And uh, that's probably going to suck. Whatever it does. So we'll save that till the end after we clear out all the spawners. Okay, here they are. Gotta be careful for anyone using a sword. I don't see any spawners yet. I think one of them's right here. Ah, oh, crap! No! I really want to avoid dying. Oh my god, they're chasing us. <laughs> Some of them are fighting each other. But most of them are fighting me. Oh god, this is insane. <laughs> this is like zombie mode in Call of Duty. <laughs> okay, that was, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. I want to try and destroy that spawner, but I can't even get close to it. Even if I lured them down, they'll just spawn again. Let's let's go for that spawner. Ah, crap. I wasn't able to get it, but I was able to clear out the space in front of it. I'm gonna let a couple of them follow me up here so I can clear some of them out. Ah, God, my game does not like this many enemies in one spot. It's not like unplayable, but it's it's definitely taking a hit, that's for sure. As long as they keep coming at us one at a time like that, we should be fine. Alright, let's go back for that spawner. Oh god, there's so many of them. Oh no! <laughs> there's so many! That's insane! I was able to kill a lot of them, but it doesn't matter if they can spawn infinitely. Uh, let's see if we can rush those spawners. Oh my god! Okay, that was my fault. <laughs> they clotheslined me. So far, this battle tower is awesome, though. I'm definitely going to try and uh, clear out more of these. Because uh, I've found quite a lot of them traveling already. Um, I don't know if I've marked them all on my map, but I know I've marked some of them. And uh, we found at least, like, five around some of the areas that we've been to. We've gotten a good amount of enderpearls from this tower. Uh, we might have enough to actually try and challenge Night Robber because the Guildmaster was saying that we we need Ender Pearls to evade one of one of his attacks that's only only dodgeable via Ender Pearl or teleportation is what he said specifically. So unless we can figure out another way to teleport, uh, Ender Pearls are our best bet. Oh, he had like a skull mallet. That was cool. All right, it's looking pretty good so far. Uh, let's go ahead and keep moving then, I guess. This is level eight, I think. Oh, crap. Okay, so we're at the top. This is level 9. Oh, man. Alright, I guess it's time to see what's up here. Oh, god, I'm scared. Oh, uh, let's sleep. Let's sleep first. But we've at least cleared out all the spawners. At least I think we have. Let's see. Our helmet's about to break. Healing potions. Let's, uh... Let's eat one of our golden apples. Alright, let's see if the keys are used for this thing. Oh, you know what? I think they are. Look at... Those look like keyholes. Oh, god, no. Okay. Uh... Oh, I'm scared. Um... And three. Oh god. Oh, okay, yep, this is just like the older version of the mod. I remember those guys. Oh god. Okay. That is terrifying. Let's do this. Oh god. Let's see if we can hit him with our special attack. Oh crap. Oh, <laughs> swimming underneath that magma block. Oh god, this is awesome. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Come on. Alright, let's go. Oh crap! Oh my god, he hits insanely hard. I'll try and hit him with more of our heavy attacks. Oh! Oh, oh crap. That's why I don't want it. Oh, I hit it back to him. 
Ooh, wait a minute. Do it again. I didn't see how much damage that did, but I'm gonna keep doing that. Holy crap. Alright, let's see. Ooh, look at his face! Ah, wait, not yet. Oh my god, he looks terrifying. Let's use Blur Heavy. Oh, yes! Holy crap, I just need to hit him one more time. Oh, that's him! That's the name! What did I- okay. Uh, that one guy has completed challenge- oh god, that was insane. Huh. Oh no! Is this place falling? What is that noise? Without its energy, the tower will collapse. Holy crap. Oh crap! It's- No! 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 Oh, dang it! I lost my chance to loot that chest. It was probably really good loot. No! Oh man, that sucks. Dang it! Well, it's a lesson learned the hard way, I guess. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. Oh, is it still falling? Oh, it's still falling. Oh, crap. Just falling very slowly. Let's see what this is. What this is? <laughs> it's not like I was asking a question. <laughs> what this is? Okay, yeah, never mind. Oh, God, the whole- yeah, the whole place is falling. Oh, God. Alright. Oh, okay, that hurt. Oh. Is the chest really gone? Man, that's so sad. Dang it, man. I am so, so upset that I just completely blew that. Alright, let's go back to camp. Man, dang it, I can't believe that I just did that. Ah, uh, now I know. Now I know. Alright, we're back at camp. Uh, man, that is really upsetting. At least the tower is gone. Um, I was able to, to defeat the, uh, boss. I didn't even see what his name was. Wow. Alright, let's go ahead and put all of our stuff away, and then uh, we'll go ahead and continue with our day. I already kind of put a lot of my stuff away when I took uh, the break to kind of empty my inventory, but I got a whole lot of the same stuff again, so I'm just going to go over it. Um, I got some uh, a few diamonds this time, which I didn't get last time. I got more like blocks last time. I got more like stone and stuff like that last time just from running around and breaking stuff, but uh, this time I got some more actual loot. So I got some emeralds, some diamond, I got a good amount of uh, ender pearls. I think in total I got about maybe 10 or so. I got a few enchanted books. I got knockback one, luck of the sea two, uh, depth strider two, piercing three. Uh, I got two riptide two books. I got some music discs. And then I grabbed a couple of these land monolith keys. I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, okay, so. We are definitely going to try and challenge some more of those towers because that was awesome. Not right now though, I, d I don't have time to do another one of those in one episode, but I do want to get uh, a couple of those towers out of the way eventually though, because we got some decent loot, not a ton of crazy stuff, but I really want to know what was in that chest, but man, I just completely blew that. I'm sorry guys. Like I said, that's a lesson learned. I just had to learn it the hard way, unfortunately, but let's go ahead and sort through all of our stuff, get it all put away, and then we'll continue with our day. Alright, so we got all of our stuff put away, and uh, one thing that I completely forgot to mention at the start of this episode is that when I was able to complete that Lost Child quest, uh, the guard did give me a skill book. I completely forgot to, to talk about that, but I didn't use it. I haven't even read it yet. Uh, Berserker, that's what it's called, so never mind, I did read it. <laughs> but I haven't used it, so let's go ahead and see. That probably would have come in handy while I was trying to do that <laughs> battle tower, but let's see what this actually is. So this is our second skill book ever. Berserker, passive skill, you gain a 0. Point, or sorry, 0.3%, uh, what? Let me start over. <laughs> you gain a 0.3% attack damage bonus and a 0.5% attack speed bonus for each 1% of health lost, or lost health. Attack speed can't increase more than 5.0. Okay, so I can get this book more than once, I think, is what it's trying to say. Unless other books just also contribute to these. Uh, so for every 1% of health lost, or of lost health, I gain these. Okay, that's really cool. And it's a passive, uh, it's a passive effect. So let's see. Yep, now I have dodge and passive berserker. Awesome. So that's really cool. I don't know how much, uh, how much that would have helped with our uh, last fight, but uh, now we have it. So that's really cool. But we got all of our stuff put away, I think. Yep, our inventory is all clear. So I think what I want to do next is actually head over to, um, let's see, we'll head over to, let me get my map out just so that we have it ready. We're going to head over to the village 
and see um, if we can... Oh, no, wait, no, we don't need to head to the village because we already have the map to Night Robber. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> I may have lost Night Robber's map, but uh, we can retrieve it now. It should have been in here. I don't know. Uh, so let's go ahead and try and retrieve that map then, I guess. Map. Okay, it was doing it more than once. Okay, I got scared this time because last time it wasn't working at all. But now we have our map to Night Robber. Uh, it looks like we are northeast of where he is. So uh, let's see. Do I have a waystone? I really hope I do. Ooh, I just realized that that last message after we killed that boss, the depths of the ocean, or the ocean depths begin to stir. Destroy bah, Bahrain Mul. Bahrain Mul. So that's cool. I don't know what that means, but that sounds ominous. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> I keep getting distracted. Let's see if we have a waystone. I don't think we do, though. How do you craft waystones again? Let's see. These ones I think you just find. Oh no, okay. See, these are the crafted ones. I need a warp stone, three obsidian, and some stone bricks. How do you make a warp stone? Warp stone is an emerald, four ender pearls, and purple dye. Purple dye can be made from red and blue dye. So that's cool. Ooh, berries. Okay, so we got berries. Let's just make it from those. Actually, I think I have some on me. Yes, I do. Awesome. Okay, perfect. So this will be the waystone that we use for Night Robber. Um, actually, you know what? What I think I'm actually going to do is replace the base's waystone with this one. Since we now have a name for the base, we can go ahead and do that now. And also, since this will be like our... Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, this is what I was looking for. Since uh, we crafted this one... I forget what it actually does, but I think it means that it doesn't cost us any XP or something like that. Oh, dang it. Can I not climb? Okay, fine. Whatever. We'll swim around. <laughs> yeah, I think it doesn't cost us any XP no matter how far we are. I'm not too sure, but uh, I guess we'll find out. So this was the base waystone, but now... Oh, no! Ah, oh, crap. Which one is crafted and which one isn't? Oh, man. That's not good. Whatever. But at least we can rename this one to... Our new city name, Graham. Cool. Awesome. Let's just make sure that's at the top. Yep, I want that at the top. And I guess let's just go ahead and start moving. Uh, do I want to replace these? Probably not. I don't think I really need these uh, new tools. But I have all diamond armor. That's pretty good. I think we're good. So let's just go ahead and start trying to find um, Night Robber. Because I would like to try and defeat him in this episode if I can. So let's just go ahead and follow this map. Um, do I have anywhere that I can warp to, actually, that'll bring us closer? I don't remember the name of the city that the Sentinel Knight was near, but let me see if I can figure it out. Because that's probably closer. Uh, I think it's this one, but I'm not too sure. Ah, uh, crap. Alright, see, this is why I name my locations normally. We could just go to Birgitta's home and see how that... Yeah, let's go to Brigitte's home. At least, at least I'll know for sure where I am. Okay, so now I'm way west. But I am significantly further south. And we're still not even making a dent on the map. So uh, we'll start heading uh, southeast. And see if we can find Night Robber. We're in like a savanna right now. Oh, just changed to planes. Okay, there's some sort of structure over there. Just looks like a house. No, he's he's further away. This is just some sort of... Okay. It's like a guard. Gatekeepers? Yeah. Blue Skies. An adventurer's guide by the gatekeeper. This journal was written uh, to assist newcomers in their journeys across the Everbright and Everdawn. Okay. That's really cool. Alright, so now that we have that... Um, oh, okay. He's close. Alright, he's very close. Um, um, okay, so I'm glad that we have that blue journal, but we're not going to use that right now. Yeah, he's very, very close by... Looks like I might see some sort of structure over there. Not too sure. Uh, where should we put our waystone? We should put it down like now. I guess let's put it down in this gatekeeper's uh, this gatekeeper's place. Um, either in or around it somewhere. We can always just pick it back up. So let's just put it around here. Uh, I'll put it right here for now. Okay, he's very close though. Let's be careful and let's uh, start preparing ourselves for battle. Okay, yep, he's he's in there somewhere. Okay, that's a wall. Yep, he's in there. Holy crap. I don't see him. How do we get inside? Night robber. Primordial one. Oh, God. This is terrifying. I didn't even realize that's what it said. Karin. Four melon slices, one pumpkin. Karin, you should probably, like, get the hell out of here. 
<laughs> uh, this doesn't look safe. I could just make like a slab staircase, which is- oh crap. Alright, let's go ahead and put this away. Okay, let's do this. Oh, there he is. That's for sure, Night Robber. Oh, crap. Alright, I think he sees us already. Oh! Oh, God. Oh, my God! Even with full diamond armor, he almost one-shots me. Oh, I'm doing nothing to him. He uses double swords. Oh! Doesn't seem like we're really doing any damage to him physically. Okay, yes, we are. Alright. We can- Oh, crap. If we can keep that up, then we can do okay. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. That's what that flame effect is. Oh, God. That hurt. Oh, no. We were doing so good. Oh, okay, let's do this. Oh. God, that was terrifying. Oh, crap. Uh. Oh, see. Okay, how am I supposed to know that? Oh, he slowed me down. Okay. Yeah, I think that flame effect is him just teleporting to do some insane damage. And I think that other one might be some attack that just slows us down. Okay, trading with him is a bad idea. What am I doing? Did he just try and shoot me? Oh, God. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, okay. I think he's shooting me when he does that. I can't seem to hit him. Oh, no! What the hell was that? Oh, man. It looks like my arrows are just going right through him. Can't tell if I'm actually hitting him. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Ugh. I'm stuck. Yeah, there's another hole. I don't think I can get out, though. Okay. Holy crap, that was terrifying. Alright, those are very, very dangerous spots to be in. Ooh! <laughs> the second the arrow landed, he teleported straight to me. He does not seem to like being shot very much. Alright, let's try and do some more melee damage. That seems like that's how we're damaging him, damaging him the most. It's just so scary getting close to him. Ooh. Oh crap! Okay, nope, we're going down. We're going under. We're going under. Ooh. Okay, we can hit him. No, 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 no! That's it, that's the one. Holy crap, okay. That's the one that we need to run from. Holy crap. Okay, so we've unfortunately wasted a bunch of our ender pearls because that's definitely the attack. Where'd he go? Oh, he's back there. Okay. Oh, no, come on, please. Whatever he just did there hurt a lot. Ooh, I think that was his big one. Oh, I got him! Yes! Holy crap! Welcome to the jungle. Holy crap, we actually killed Night Robber. Oh my god, how many tries was that? Like four or five, I think? Rogue Eye. This eye is believed to have given our ancestors the knowledge of redstone. Holy crap. Maximilian leggings. I think that's all he dropped, right? Oh my god, that was insane. <laughs> yes! We actually killed him. Hey, move. Oh, I'm like out of breath. Oh man, I was like starting, my hands were starting to sweat. That was insane. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Uh, we might come back to kind of loot some stuff, and this place looks awesome, so we might use it for something eventually, but for now, I don't want to come back here. Alright, let's head back to camp. I'll catch up with you guys when I get back. All right, holy crap. Um, you know what, let's just go straight to the Guildmaster. Yeah, let's go straight to the Guildmaster and prove to him that we killed Night Robber. All right, let's see, where is he? Here he is. Please be careful not to punch, sorry. Oh, my game is frozen. He's probably trying to spam us with messages right now, that's probably why. 
Let's just give it a second. There you go. Oh, map acquired. Wow, you've defeated Knight Robber, huh? Was he tough? Back in the day, he was one of the scariest opponents... Opponent? <laughs> um, opponents you could face in a duel. Guess his age caught up to him, finally. Well, next the eye... Wait, oh, the next eye holder is another human. He's currently living peacefully in his farmhouse. Here's a map to his location. What? Wait, is he just gonna give it to me? I, I, I highly doubt that. Map to the Nine Tails. The werp... Oh, oh god. That scared the crap out of me this time. Uh, unlocked. Yellow valve handle? What? Magenta? I'm confused. Hold on. Uh, light blue value... Da, 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 da. I don't know what any of these are. Anvil! <gasps> oh, yeah! Anvil! Redstone link! I don't know what that is, but that's cool. Uh, crushing wheel. Hand crank. Redstone link. We already read that. <gasps> Hand crank! Oh, that's the, uh, that's the create mod. Okay, this is amazing. Holy crap. Uh, wait. I want to see what else he has to say to us. Okay, he doesn't have anything else to say about, uh, the nine tails. So, let's just kind of keep that. Let's see, where is that? Okay, this time it's southwest. Or no, we're southwest of it. Okay, so this time we'll have to go southeast, uh, to get there. Holy crap, I can't believe we were able to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and put all this important stuff away. Yeah, I did not expect to be able to beat Night Robber this episode. I, well, that's not true. I expected to beat him this episode. I didn't expect to beat him the same day that I found him, uh, which is insane. I, I had so much trouble with the last couple episodes, I expected this one to go terribly. And so far, it's honestly going pretty, pretty well. Oh man, so we have three eyes now. We have the Lost Eye, we got that from the Ogre, I believe. The Rogue Eye, and the Guardian Eye. Oh, my map tonight, Robert, was in here. I'm dumb. Okay. <laughs> of course it was. Let's put the map to the Nine Tails in here as well. And let's try and remember that it's actually there. <laughs> oh man, that's great. I'm so glad that we were able to do that. Alright, let's go ahead and put all of our loot away. Uh, we didn't get too much from that. Uh, we got a bunch of random stuff. The only stuff that we actually got from Night Robber were these Maximilian leggings and the eye itself. So, let's just kind of throw all this stuff away, and then I'll get back to you guys once I'm done with that. Alright, so we've got all of our stuff put away. Um, I think what I want to go ahead and work on next is, uh, I think I want to start doing some builds. So, uh, I think the first one I want to do is, uh, finish up that barn area that I was working on last episode that I, I just didn't have a chance to finish. Cool. So, we're back at the farmhouse. I started, like I said uh, in the beginning of the episode, I did some terraforming and I did a little bit of a, a layout of what I want it to kind of look like. In this area here, I think I want to build like a, a chicken coop. And then right here, I think I want to build just like a main barn structure. And then I made this little like rock, uh, I guess, terrace, cobblestone terrace. And I think I want to put like a, a pig pen up here. And then right here down in this little area, maybe just uh, a little bit more farmland like... Uh, I don't, oh, maybe some carrots, because it's so close to the pig pen. I was thinking just doing some more wheat for decoration, but, um, yeah, maybe some carrots, since we're, since we'll be right here next to the, uh, next to the pig pen. So, I think what I want to work on first is the chicken coop. So, let's go ahead and start working on this. I laid out this little, like, fenced-in area here that I, I think I want to be kind of like their little hangout spot, um... I'm pretty sure they can jump over these, so the real, like, barrier for them is this wall here. And then in this spot here, I want to build, like, just, I guess, just, like, a different style chicken coop. Uh, right here, I want it to be more functional, like, for me to be able to actually collect their eggs. So I want to try and put some hoppers underneath and stuff, and, uh, yeah, but we'll, we'll see. I'm going to work on the basic design, and then I'll get back to you guys.
All right, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I added this little ladder right here on the side so that we can get up onto the roof because I want to try to avoid ever opening these doors because uh, I don't want chickens running around this entire place. Uh, I want to try and keep most of them in there if I can. Uh, maybe I'll let some of them walk around just for basically decoration. But I want to try to keep all my chickens in here. So I put trap doors so that I can, uh, so that I can throw my eggs in here and, and hatch them. Um, and hopefully I can actually reach in and feed them from here. If not, maybe I'll have to break one of these slabs or something. Or maybe I can, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know, we'll see. I'm not going to throw any actual chickens in here until we're done building because I don't want them running around. Because uh, once they start running around, it's going to be a pain in the butt to deal with them. So, but I think this little structure is done. I think I'm going to go ahead and try and build a little, a little, uh, a little extra chicken coop right here on the side. I think I mainly want to make this little thing out of uh, trap doors to keep it super, super small. Um, I don't even know if I can actually get any chickens inside of this thing when I'm done, but uh, I guess we'll just have to see. Again, I'm putting trap doors because I have no idea if chickens can actually stand on hoppers. Because like this one right here, I can kind of sink inside of it. I don't want the chickens to be able to get out, so I'm going to cover these with uh, trap doors just to be extra safe. And then I'll put trap doors on the outside like this. And these trap doors will act as the walls. And I think I also want to add a way up here. So, okay, perfect. That's why I put this uh, trap door facing this way so that I can open it. Just like this ladder here. That way we can actually get up top and hatch the eggs from up top. Yeah, something like that hopefully works out for us. Let's go ahead and grab our stuff back. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and cover this thing up, and hopefully... I'm, I'm really hoping that this works, because if not, then... Uh, I mean, at least it'll be for looks if it doesn't work out, but we'll see. Ooh, <laughs> smacked myself on the head with that uh, trap door. <laughs> yeah, something like that looks pretty cool. So, uh, not exactly sure how I'm going to get them in. Probably just from the top. I'll just try and toss some some eggs in and hopefully they hatch and stay in there and I can close it in on them and they'll just kind of walk around in there and uh, these are all hoppers right here hopefully it'll drop all down into that hopper down there and then into this chest here kind of the same thing here except all the hoppers in this little building are already at ground level so uh, this one I would imagine is probably going to function better than that uh, that might not even function at all depending on how easily chickens can walk through trap doors uh, like I said, if not, then this one's just for looks. I do like the way it looks, but, uh, yeah, that was a really easy build. I think we're pretty much done. Now we just got to bring some chickens in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab some of my eggs. I should have grabbed them while I was at the, uh, storage. But, yeah, I'll probably just go ahead and grab some, uh, grab some eggs, bring them over here and hatch some chickens. And I'll go ahead and, uh, leave them in here while I build those buildings to see if they actually stay in here. And then I'll come back and check on them, see if, uh, see if these structures actually hold the chickens inside. You guys are lucky that I'm building the chicken coop when I am, otherwise you'd be dead. Maybe I'll leave a couple of you out here for decoration. Um, let's see, I'll leave a classic looking chicken and this gray one. And then the rest of you guys come with me. Okay, cool. Awesome, now we got some chickens in the chicken coop. We got a couple chickens walking around, which is fine. And then I'll try and hatch some chickens in here. Alright, we hatched a couple chickens, not, not many, but we already have a good amount in there, so... Uh, let's go ahead and save our other eggs for this chicken coop here. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up here and start trying to hatch some chickens. Okay, so we got, I think, three in there. One is all the way in that corner right there. Two is right here. And, oh, I think three is right here. Okay, so we got three chickens in there. Um, this is probably going to be mainly for decoration. Uh, I don't really want to uh, risk opening any of these up and my chickens running out, so... I might just let this kind of slowly, passively get me some eggs, but um, this one will be our main uh, functional chicken coop. So, yep, and I'll go ahead and decorate the outside, uh, probably in between episodes. Um, but that's the chicken coop done, so let's go ahead and move on to one of the other structures. I think I want to save this main one for last, so let's go ahead and move on to our pig pen here. I don't have any pigs, um, but I might be able to find some out in the in the wild, so... Let's just build this first, and then we'll go and look for some pigs. I haven't really decided on how I want this to look. I think I want it to just be kind of a, like a slanted slanted roof, very, very basic uh, shelter. Um, 
with no real gate around it. Pigs are kind of uh, sloppy, as we all know, so I think I want this like dirt area to be where they mainly stay. I, I don't think this is going to stay dirt, though. Uh, that looks pretty good. Let me see. I'm going to bring it out one more. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Oh my god. <laughs> I might be able to do something with that. Maybe uh, maybe I can even turn it like that. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I don't even know if I want to put a door on this thing. I want the pigs to kind of just freely walk around this little spot right here. So yeah, I might not even put a door on this one. One thing I haven't really considered is lighting. I don't know how I want to light this thing up. Uh, can we just hang a... Uh, I mean, we can. I don't know how that looks, though. Maybe on this side instead? Yeah, sure. I'll keep it like that for now. Um, like I said, I'll do some more decorating here. Probably put, like, some barrels and stuff. Or something. Just so it's not just, like, a plain a plain flat area. But for now, I think that's a, a nice, basic uh, little pig pen hut. And then the pigs can kind of walk around here and smell up the area as much as they want. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to this structure. This is probably where I'm going to keep like my cows and sheep and maybe a few horses. I'm not sure. I don't know if I want to keep my horses all the way out here because uh, the entrances to the base are all the way down that way. So it doesn't really make sense to keep my horses this far away from the entrance. I'll probably build some stables out there eventually, but uh, for now, this is probably where I'll keep a, a horse or two. That way they're not um, at risk of getting mauled to death by werewolves. <laughs> but yeah. So let's go ahead and work on this structure next. Uh, I think I want this to be a slanted roof. And then maybe this to be like a big slanted roof. Let me just kind of run around and do some planning. And then we'll see. Uh, I'll let you guys know when I make up my mind. Alright, so yeah. I think this is going to be the general layout of the building. Uh, this is probably going to be like a rounded sort of classical barn style roof for this little square section. And then I might want like a big slanted uh, slanted roof here, and then a smaller slanted roof connecting that little uh, extension um, off to the side there. Um, hopefully that comes together nicely, but I won't really know until we're done. So uh, let's go ahead and see how that looks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and work on that, and then I'll get back to you guys once I'm done. Alright, I think we're done with the uh, barn house now. Um, so we've got the chicken pen, or the, yeah, the chi oh god, okay. <laughs> got the chicken coop built, we've got the uh, main barn structure built, and then we've got our pig pen built. So now the, all there is left to do is decorate, but I'll probably do that in between episodes. I'm not even going to try and bring in the animals just yet. I'll probably do that in between episodes as well. That's going to take a while most likely because I don't have any sheep, cows, or pigs ready to be transported. So I'm going to have to find those first. But I'll, I'll just do that, uh, like I said, in between episodes. So, um, But uh, that's not all actually. There's uh, This is not the main thing I wanted to build today. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and head over and grab some more materials and then I'll head over to the build site for what the main uh, build project for today is but that is the barn completely done uh, finally so I'm super excited about that uh, but like I said I'm gonna grab my stuff head over to the build site and then I'll catch up with you guys all right so we got all of our stuff sorted out I grabbed some more building materials and we are ready to go ahead and move on to our next build site um, I kind of teased what I wanted to build at the beginning of the episode. At the very, very end of our journal entry, I, I said what, uh, what this is actually going to be. 
So now that we are the king of Greymoor and Greyhelm, then uh, I think the first order of business is for us to build ourselves some sort of fortification, some proper fortification. So I'm going to go ahead and start building uh, our first castle. It's not going to be the kind of castle you guys are probably thinking of. I think I want to base it off of uh, very, very early uh, European castles known as uh, Mott and Bailey's. It's not going to be exactly the same thing, like the terrain around it isn't going to be the same. I'm not going to make that like man-made hill and I'm not going to make a trench. It's just going to be the structure itself is going to be styled off of those old Mott and Bailey structures that uh, were built in very, very early medieval times. So we're going to build it at the top of this mountaintop. I am going to surround it with a log wall with our palisade wall design that we've been using but the actual structure is going to be right here um but like i said i'm gonna i'm gonna first surround it with a wall so i know exactly where i want it and what i think i'm also gonna do is uh make a uh, a watchtower right here the wall is probably going to come around here and connect to a watchtower same exact style as the first watchtower that we made uh right over there there's just going to be another one right here. I'm probably not going to build the watchtower this episode because I don't know if I have enough uh, material for that. I probably do, but uh, I don't want to take up too, too much time. So, because uh, that build took quite a while to make. So, I might make that in between episodes. I'm just going to kind of lay down the foundation for it for now. But I am going to try to make the main structure of our Mountain Bailey Castle uh, this episode. So, let's go ahead and start working on that. First things first, though, I want to make the wall palisade... Uh, surround or the palisade wall surrounding the castle so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now and then i'll catch up with you guys as soon as i'm done with that all right so i am pretty much done surrounding this area with our palisade wall i ran out of dripstone spikes so i'm gonna have to go caving at some point so that i can grab some more uh i know a few spots where i can get a bunch i just haven't done it yet um but let's go ahead and move on to the main structure i need to uh kind of lay out the foundation first I think I want it to be on top of uh, some sort of like stone foundation, just just something small, and then it'll kind of uh, protrude up from there. So uh, let me just go ahead and work on the foundation, and then I'll get back to you guys again. Uh, yeah. All right. I think I'm done for the most part with the foundation. It's just a uh, super basic, uh, basically just like a square foundation uh, made of stone. I'll mix it up with mossy cobblestone at some point, but uh, for now I just want to get the base structure built. There's a little walk around or walkway right here and then it leads up to the main entrance right here is probably where I'm gonna put the door um, I don't know how many stories I want to make this uh, it's probably gonna be pretty tall uh, oh also I made a uh, little basement area down here for storage I threw a bunch of uh, <laughs> snow right there um, but yeah that's what this is gonna be yeah I, I don't know how many stories I'm gonna make this maybe three three maybe four stories I'm not too sure Probably like three stories. Um, I don't normally build big houses because I don't really like filling up interiors that are just big empty spaces. So uh, I probably will stop at three stories. It all it all just kind of depends on how how it looks height wise, whether it looks funny or not. But um, but yeah, we'll see. Let's sleep for forced. Let's sleep forced, and then uh, and then we'll start building the uh, the main structure. All right, so I got the basic frame of the of the entire structure down. It's just a super basic square frame. And I decided to make it four stories because three stories just looked a little bit too short. I think that's a pretty good height. Um, plus the roof. The roof uh, may or may not be accessible. I'm not too sure. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start building the walls. The walls are going to be super repetitive, so I'm going to speed past this as well. Uh, a whole lot of this is going to be a time lapse because I just have nothing interesting to say, but uh, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and start on the walls. All right, I think we're just about done with the main structure itself. I ran out of like decoration blocks, so we're going to have to decorate it in between episodes, but uh, it's pretty much done for the most part, and I'm really, really happy with the way it looks. I know it's really, really basic. It's just basically a giant square, but uh, I like it because I know it's it's pretty historically accurate, um, at least as far as as historically accurate as Minecraft can be. But yeah, like I said before, I'm gonna build a watchtower right about here. Um, same same design as the other one, um, as I mentioned before. 
Um, so that will either be done in between episodes or next episode. Probably in between episodes, though. I don't want to make you guys watch that again. But, but yeah, it's basically done. This is the inside, so this is going to be a dining area, most likely. This will probably be a kitchen. We have our basement downstairs. Nice basement space. The next floor might be something like a barracks or something. Usually it consisted of, of about three floors, I, 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 as far as I know. And the top floor was usually their their bedroom, the master bedroom and stuff. But if they had a large family, then the second floor might be for like the kids or something. And then this floor would be for, uh, you know, the king and the, the king and the queen or, you know, what have you. I think technically they wouldn't be kings or queens. They would be uh, nobility is technically something other than a king and a, and a queen. But uh, I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, this is normally the layout of a, of a Mott and Bailey kind of castle. Um, I'm excited that we finally got this done. Um, I, like I said, I've been planning this since like episode one. I've been uh, planning to build something like it at least for uh, quite a long time. So I'm glad that we're actually starting to to uh, get it done. So yeah, yeah, I'm really, really excited about this. It looks really cool behind the uh, palisade wall. I want to see how it looks from uh, from down at the bottom of the hill though. You probably can't see it past a certain point, but... Uh, you can still kind of see it. Wow, that's that's really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. What about down here? Probably not, but maybe. Oh, you can see a little bit of it. That's really cool. Uh, you can see just the top, but once I build the watchtower, it's going to cover it. But that's really cool. You can actually see it from all the way down here. There it is. <laughs> it's just out of render distance, so it's like flashing in and out of existence, but that's really, really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Hope you guys like the way the castle's coming out. I'm really, really happy with the way it looks so far. Like I said, I'm really excited about things that I have planned, and uh, I'm really glad that I was finally able to get around to doing that. Um, like I said, it's not done yet. We got to do some decorating and stuff like that, but uh, we'll get around to that probably in between episodes. But uh, I think that's just about all I have for you guys today. Hmm, if you stayed till the end of this video, then type uh, uh, type. Uh, king in the comments below if you stay till the very end. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to like, comment, and also share my content. It really helps out the channel a lot. If you like what I do and you'd like to help me continue doing it and if you'd like to be in the Hall of Patrons then consider supporting me over on my Patreon page. The link for that will be in the description and be sure to join the Discord. I, I have a lot of fun talking to you guys. Uh, I'm so glad that I ended up making that Discord. I've never made one before, so I was a bit nervous at first, but uh, I'm really, really happy that I made it, and it's doing really well so far. It's a lot of fun interacting with all you guys uh, on a regular basis. It's, it's just an awesome, awesome place to be. But with all that being said, I think that's just about all I have for you guys today. As always, if you like this video, leave a like if you'd like, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.